Well, thank you, Samson, and um, let me wish our audience a good Saturday morning. You see, Samson, there are questions that you ask my brother, Ricky Sagan, are essentially the issues that Dr. Baumia mm. raised. That's all. The same issues. And in fact, after your questions, there's probably no need for me to speak. Because those are the issues. And those who disagree with Dr. Baumia, what is the basis of their disagreement? John Mahama announces a 24-hour economy. Dr. Baumia says, but we already have a 24-hour economy. There is no legal barrier for any business that wants to operate 24 hours. There's no legal barrier. There's no social barrier. It is the presence of opportunity, demand. And if the demand is there, businesses would meet that demand. And if they have to operate more than 12 hours or 10 hours to meet that demand, business would take that decision. But as we speak, our economy has no time limit. Businesses operate up to 6 p.m. Some operate up to 8 p.m. Some operate up to 10 p.m. Some operate up to 6 a.m. Depending on the opportunities that are available to where they are. Multimedia operates 24 hours because it is profitable for you to operate beyond 6 p.m. The advertising flows. In fact, after midnight, um, some pastors have come to tell you there's a market out there. And so they've come and taken your broadcasting after midnight. And you are charging them for it. Many radio stations operate 24 hours because there's economic opportunity. But it's not all. It's not all the radio stations. Those that have economic opportunity or commercial opportunity, they operate 24 hours, like multimedia. Those that don't, because of some factors, they have closing times. So Dr. Bonnet is asking, what is new? Is it a new thing that is coming into this country? Because we already have a 24-hour economy. Go to, yesterday I was at Tudu. I have a terminal there at Tudu. That terminal never closes. The Tudu terminal never closes. But we have some terminals in this country that close because the economic or commercial opportunity is not there. He's referring to STC terminals. So, State transport. So what company. you need to do is to enhance the provision of services, public services. That would expand economic opportunity. It includes security. So when you have more police numbers and the police are more efficient, it will provide opportunity for people to set up a, 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 a business. Street lighting. When I was a member of parliament, I did some street lighting from Swan Lake to what they call the old stop. A lot of street lights, very bright. Uh, and you know what happened? Kinky selling started on that, on that stretch. Kinky selling. And they were selling the kinky around the clock. But you know street lighting. Some, some of them will last four months, some of them five months. When those lights go off, the activity cease. And they will come to me and say, Honorable, the lights are off. We can't work after 8 p.m. So just lighting. My brother here talked about the, the new initiative, the, 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 the ban, the, the, the restriction that government intends to put on imports. If well done and there's consensus, obviously, this will near to the benefit of industry because the market, the local market would expand. And so some industries that can take advantage would expand their operating hours. 
So the bottom line is that the economy 24 hours already exists. What you need to do is keep d delivering public services efficiently and people will respond. Banana. Roads, roads, for example. Mm. Roads. Roads is so crucial. Yes, Banana, if, if you... If it is not the usual sloganeering, but a policy, deliberate, that will be useful to even induce our minds and, you know, everybody get our energy to think about it consciously that we have a 24-hour economy. I'm a lawyer. I don't, countless times, I work late into the night. I can work to the next day, the next morning. But I can't go to court. I work in my office. I can't go to court around that time because the courts are shut. So if it's a deliberate policy, it will be good. If it's a deliberate policy, the, ports, the court should open 24 hours. Exactly. Now, if you lawyers demand court services, 24 hours, not just you, something. But if you lawyers, you are getting briefs from abroad, you have clients, multinational clients, and, and so then one, if it's 9 p.m. here, it's uh, uh, 12 noon in Tokyo or something, and they are demanding services, and you lawyers create that demand because the business has expanded, you are taking on multinational businesses and so on. Well, the courts will respond. Where, now, where, the, where there and, is talk, this, and then, this particular one, where there is talk about demand, mm. in the courts, you can say that is an exception because there's demand. And we have a backlog of cases. The cases are delayed. And if you, if you get extra time, then you should be able to clear the backlog. But you would agree that if the court system, the process is more efficient, and these delays, these technicalities that you lawyers employ, and people can get justice faster. <laughs> but you see, mm. production, productive activity, is not an end in itself. Nobody produces kelewele by the street corner for itself. You do production because there is a demand. So the only reason why somebody, the Kelewele seller at the corner is not doing 24 hours is because after some hours, the demand is not there. If the demand is there, the opportunity is there, let's say somebody goes to set up a nightclub in the vicinity. And so there's people moving in and out of that area at all hours. The Kelewele seller would then operate in the night as well. You see, and you can't legislate somebody setting up a nightclub. Somebody is going to set up a nightclub because he's seen that in this neighborhood, uh, the location is good. There are a lot of young people in this area. And when I set up a nightclub here, it will be good. So they'll set it up. So the bottom line is that you already have a 24-hour economy. If you improve the delivery of public services, which would create economic opportunities, business will respond. So when you bring, we bring it up as some new idea that is a game changer, Baumia will ask you those questions. But we already have a 24 hour economy. Digitalization, that my brother mentioned, now enables you to buy your electricity at all hours. To, to, to do banking transactions at all hours. So digitalization is an, and my friend, my brother used the term that is very, enabler. Anything that public service that is provided, if the public service become more efficient, they will create the enabler. So, the bottom line is that if you want to make public services more efficient, you want to make the security services more efficient, say so. And show us how you are going to do it. All right. But when you come and say you are going to create a 24 hour, it's like <coughs> something that doesn't exist. Right. And you are let, going let's, to let's, let's hear that from. is the problem. Let's hear